Hey guys, what's up? In today's Anime Defenders video, we are going to be comparing the Cursed Lord and the Bear King Unlocked. Both of these units are considered meta mythic bleed units, with Cursed Lord's max placement 3 and Bear King's max placement is 4. But before we get to that guys, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. One lucky subscriber that comments on this video is going to be winning a shiny mythic unit. So the Cursed Lord is obtainable by evolving the Cursed Prince with a Cursed Finger. It's easy to get the supplies you need, and it's cheap to craft. The Bear King Unlocked, on the other hand, is evolved from the Bear King, and you need his otherworldly gauntlet from Raid 1 to evolve them so the bear king is actually a lot of grinding to get if you're a beginner curse lord is going to be much easier to get so checking out our bear king unlocked right now he's level 70 critical 3 trait b damage 848 b plus cooldown 5.5 and b range 15.1 he is strictly a bleed unit whereas curse lord is a bleed slash burn unit but he's only burned for two upgrades so in my opinion, they're the most useless upgrades. Oh, he's so bad during them. All right, but our Curse Lord is running the Critical 3 trait. C plus damage at 999. A cooldown at 4.5 seconds and a C plus range at 15.8. So to determine who is the better unit, we run an infinite mode. We place all our characters down in the exact same spot. First, we will only place down Curse Lord. And then in the second run, we will only place down the Bear King Unlocked. We're going to base the winner on who gets further or who does more damage by the time we are defeated. And for that, we're just going to go into Windmill Village Infinite Mode. Let's go. All right, let's go with the Curse Lord first. He costs 1,000 yen to place down. And we're going to place all our guys down right on the corners before the square. So our Curse Lord's max capacity is 3. So we don't skew things. Our Pink Rockstar is going to be all the way over here away from the action. And I'm not going to have her auto use attack boost on. So we're going to check back in when we have all of our Curse Lords leveled up to max. So we're checking in at wave 31. We managed to get all our Curse Lords up to max upgrade. It costs 80,000 yen to get these guys fully upgraded. So 80,000, 160,000, 240,000 in total. And we are just going to place our Demon King down here so he can get some experience. He's only level 62, but he won't be doing any of the damage. So Curse Lord's bleed damage is 6% of his base damage per tick. And each time he attacks, it produces three ticks. So he's doing about 18% more damage per attack than his 24,210. All right, we're going to let this sit for a bit and we'll come back when it gets a little bit more interesting. All right, we're actually only at wave 59 right now and our Cursed Lords are starting to struggle a little bit. This surprises me. I thought that they were going to last a little bit longer than this. But I doubt they're going to be able to beat the wave 60 boss coming up here. Yeah, there's the boss. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a DPS check. And I don't think these guys are going to... Well, actually, you know what? They might be able to do it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about uh, his clown car. We're done. Done. All right. We made it 48 minutes. Total damage was 53 million. We got two demon portals. Four trade crystals. All right. So next up is the Bear King. Oh, I hope we had an infinite. No, we did not. So honestly, I don't even think that this competition is going to be close. I think the Bear King is going to absolutely demolish the Curse Lord. But let's find out here. Since we do have four placements, we'll just put one on the other side of the corner here. Let's put our pink rock star living with the villagers. And same with our Demon King Peak. 
All right, at wave 32, we managed to max out all our Bear Kings. Each one of these guys is 63,050 yen to fully upgrade, bringing the total to 252,200. So just a bit higher than Curse Lord. So Bear King was buffed in update two to give him a bleed with his attack. His bleed is actually not as strong as Curse Lord's. He only does 5% of his base damage per bleed instead of 6%. And each time he applies bleed, it's three ticks. And Bear King's final attack is a five hit multi hit attack. So critical traits or precision or requiem is recommended for this guy. All right, we're gonna check back at about wave 60 and we're gonna see how he does. Yo, we are at wave 59 and I'd be surprised if the Bear King does not make it past wave 60. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna beat him, so... I think. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous now. He gets pretty fast in his clown car. I'm not gonna lie, that thing is... That thing motors. Oh, no. Bro, let's go! Oh my god, I've never seen a car bleed before. Ooh, this is gonna be close. Yo, how much... How much range do we have here? Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> we were so close to beating him. We got so much closer than the Curse Lord. But we didn't have enough DPS to take out the Clown Pirate car. Alright, total damage 59.58. Unfortunately, they both weren't able to take out the Clown in his car. But, yeah, Bear King unlocked is the far superior unit i mean we were close to taking out that clown car yeah both these guys are amazing units i mean obviously the cursed lord is a lot easier to get than the bear king the bear king requires a ton of grinding in raid one unless you're lucky and get them to drop at 1.5 percent but i've i've ran raid one at least a couple hundred times and i have not gotten the bear king to drop all right guys thanks so much for watching the bear king unlocked versus the cursed lord don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and leave a comment for your chance to win a shiny mythic unit take care guys